I'm so excited for this week's Costco haul because it's probably my most favorite shopping trip I've made in I can't even tell you how long because not only do we find a couple more fall items slash like pumpkins for Halloween, we also found some Christmas stuff. Now I know, I know it's only October and we're talking about Christmas, but as you all know, Christmas stuff um, comes and goes and once it's gone, you, you can't get it again. So that's why when you see it, you gotta get it. And that is why I'm just gonna give you a quick little preview of something I'm so, this is probably the most exciting thing I got. And I got something that was really cute too, which you see in the thumbnail, but this right here is like a little snow globe. I'm gonna go so into detail about this, but I cannot wait for you guys to see what this thing is all about. Um, not only that, I have some really fun food items that we buy most all the time and a couple uh, things just for like the house in general. So. Without further ado, let's get into this Costco haul. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you at the end of the video. Hello guys. So I can't even tell you the excitement I felt walking through Costco today. I know, I know it's not even Halloween yet and I am not that person but what is it about Costco when you walk in and there's all the Christmas stuff out and you just get transported to that time of year and you just get excited and that's me and honestly one of the main reasons I ran to Costco was because I had to get this advent calendar now you guys all know who've been watching me for years I definitely get the Trader Joe's advent calendars but let's get real that chocolate is kind of not the greatest so this is what I'm so 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 excited to show Benson he's at school and when he gets home I'm I'm gonna show him it yeah I'm showing him early because I'm just that excited but how gorgeous is this advent calendar it's the lint brand and let me just share with you what this box looks like what it comes with. I die, I die, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Um, so here you go. This is all the cute little chocolates that are found in this um, advent calendar and they're all wrapped in the cutest ways. Look at the umbrella, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, the cutest, cutest things ever. And it, does, it has a game, spot the seven differences between the two pictures. Benson, my son, who's five, will absolutely love this too. So if you guys are looking for an advent calendar, I believe these sell out super, super fast. We only bought one for our only son, um, but I'm gonna buy the Trader Joe's ones too, just because I have to. Um, I have to, I can't not get them every year. So this is what I'm so excited about. Now, when we walked into Costco, it was like a treasure trove of Christmas. There were Christmas trees, all the presents, um, the gift wrap, everything to make your gifts look absolutely gorgeous, ribbon, bows, everything, you name it, all the lights, all the glistening, glimmering, glittery stuff everywhere, everywhere I turned, every aisle completely filled with kids' toys, like, oh my gosh, but look what caught my eye, some outdoor decorations. Now, these were set up at Costco, and I'll show you a clip here, but can you just imagine your front yard looking like this? I could not pass these up. It's a snowman family, and it's perfect. It's a mom, a dad, and a little kid, and it's like the perfect thing for our family. These are absolutely gorgeous set up. They're twinkly and glittery, and they just look like the happiest little snowman. So I had to get this. I really, I just knew if I walked past it and didn't pick it up, it's gonna be gone. We all know how Costco is. It's just like Trader Joe's. If you don't get it, it's gonna be gone. And so I definitely grabbed it. And I'm just, I'm like over the moon right now. I can't even, I can't tell you. Um, now let's continue on with some more Christmas. So I also got this because I've been seeing these for years and I've resisted the urge to buy one of these ceramic Christmas trees. These are like a throw back to um, like our grandparents houses when we would go to their homes and they would have these beautiful little um, you know hand-painted ceramic trees they all they light up they have like all these bulbs light up and it is just so fun so I finally got one because I was like you know we have the space to um, we we built our buffet so I needed some more decor so this is perfect and it's a really big size so I thought it was gorgeous as you can see, there's so much more decor. So they have the cute carousel they had last year, a huge ornament, a cute little winter display, and some homes that you can put on a mantle, 
Lots of Disney stuff. The Disney stuff is all over the place. Snoopy too, of course. And you got the big Mickey Mouse, which is so fun and very festive for the season. Then the gnomes, always the gnomes. I feel like the gnomes have been around for a few years now and they're even here for Halloween. These two snowmen were so cute. I almost picked them up, but I didn't. So maybe next time. Then there's all the wreaths are in now. So we have the beautiful regular natural wreath. We also have the hollyberry wreath and the garlands as well. And then you have some Christmas mats. If you want to put a mat out front, we always do that every year. Some really beautiful gold and white light up trees. You can do either or or both. They look pretty together actually. And then we have a fall wreath. So if you're looking um, not towards Christmas yet, we've definitely got the fall look. Now to what I think I'm going to just squeal. I, I know I already showed you guys this, but I'm going to show you again because I am so excited about this Glitter Globe Gin Liqueur. This is an orange and gingerbread liqueur, and it's from Gin. It's a light up, wait, hold on, light up bottle. What? Wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> freaking out all over again. You're telling me this thing not only does it glitterize, do you see the little gold flakes? I don't know, there we go. It lights up. Oh my gosh, 23 karat edible gold leaf is in here. Um, oh, I'm, I can't, I gotta catch my breath. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, here we go, taste. It's, I, I just wanted a vegan, suitable and allergen, vegan, suitable and allergen free. Okay, it just keeps getting better. And look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful little, I don't know, painting, whatever on the back. I'm turning this into a candle, by the way. Once this gin is gone, I'm going to use, it looks like a candlestick will fit right in there. And how pretty would this be? But I wanna know how it lights up. Show me now, okay. I'm gonna have to take this out and I'm gonna show you guys how it lights up. Light up bottle, okay, let me, let me, let me check this out. What does that even mean? To turn light on, press up lighter button on base of bottle to turn off press again oh my gosh and what does it say uh if left on the light will automatically turn off after 10 minutes you're joking you are joking okay if you need a gift for somebody oh my gosh how cute little snowflake i'm just i'm ugh, i'm dying i'm dying i love this i'm such a goober okay here it is oh my gosh you are joking me right now. Okay, let me go find a darker area. I need to show you guys. I'm gonna show you my bathroom. So I found a dark area in my bathroom to show you how lit up this is. It's like, look at that. Wow, what a gorgeous bottle. I am just in love. And you can see the fireplace through the light. Oh my gosh, how cute. I'm in love. Okay, I'm done fangirling over this for now but I think I might have to go back and get another bottle. This is the cutest thing ever, and this is the cutest gift. So I'm so glad that I ended up picking this up. That's the best 20 bucks I've ever spent on something. Wow. I'm gonna move on to some other alcohol we grabbed. So we got this four pack of Bordeaux. So Bordeaux are amazing, and these all got 90 plus ratings. So I thought, you know what? And it comes with this really beautiful like wooden case so it's very gender neutral if you wanted a gift to a gift it to a girlfriend boyfriend husband wife family member friend whatever like this is such a nice gift and it looks really fancy so you could just literally stick a bow on that and this is like the nicest gift and it's really affordable too for Bordeaux. Bordeaux are usually quite expensive these look like they're all 2019s so yeah I'm excited to try them though and see how they taste we'll probably crack these open during the holiday season so so if we're so inclined and you guys remember, we might try one or two on camera. Now I also grabbed this because I thought you guys would be interested in seeing this as well. This is the European tour of sparkling wines. There's six sparkling wines in here. We've got the um, Valle France, I don't know, Champagne. We have the Baron Val Rome. I'm sorry, I don't speak French, so just bear with me here. Splendid Brut, then we've got the Moscato, the Brut Prosecco and the, what is this? Ma, it's kind of hard to read. Oh, oh, it's a Cava Brut. So there's a bunch of different ones that you can try. And I feel like these, actually, let me open it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like open. All right, so let's see what it looks like opened up. Oh, how cute. Okay, 
This is even better than I thought. So I really like the layout of this. It looks really nice and it looks, you know, fancy. So, and then on the back, it explains each and every bottle so that you're not going in blind trying it. And it even gives you tasting notes and exactly where it comes from. So that's really cool. We've got France, so France, France, Italy, Italy, Spain, and Germany. Wow, it's like, like it says, a tour, a European tour of sparkling wines. That is such a cool gift. I love this idea, so I'm really glad that um, I found this. And if you guys are looking for some really awesome gifts, even like a birthday gift, this is so fun. They also had the wine advent calendar out. We bought this last year, but we chose not to get it this year because we have so much wine. We didn't need any more. And then they also have a beer advent calendar. So those that don't want wine but want beer, there's one for every day until Christmas in the month of December. So those are really fun and... Um, I don't know, when they go on sale, we might get them. They also have the chocolate liqueurs in as well, but I'm gonna get mine from Trader Joe's. Now we're gonna move on to a, another holiday item I got for myself. So this is just a really beautiful hunter green sweater. It's from Jessica Simpson. And I just thought this color was really nice. And I always am looking for some holiday inspired sweaters that you can wear like any time of the year really. But I like this green. I thought it was really pretty and compare with like a sparkly skirt and it would be like a nice going out sweater or like even on Christmas Eve or something like that. So I like that for that. And then all their batteries are on sale right now and with the holidays coming up and Halloween, I had to get batteries because I've put all these batteries and all my Halloween stuff and we've already run out of our double A's. So it was perfect timing because they're all on sale right now. So if you need batteries, go now. Um, also behind here, we got a container like because I bought so much more Halloween decor this year. So we needed another container. I'll probably need to get like two more of those, but, and then we'll need some for Christmas. These are super heavy duty though, and they really click in. So if you want something that's gonna like really make sure nothing, you know, gets broken or water damaged or stuff, something like this is great. And it has these little holes. I'm not sure what these are for. Probably like to put rope or something and then hang them. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Now to some of the food items we picked up. So Tim is definitely loving the Philly cheese steaks that I showed last Costco haul. He grabbed some more and he was just like loving them so much. He eats them whenever he can. So we got some more of those. These were on sale. We used to buy these all the, all the time. They're the organic bean rice and cheese burritos by Lily Bees. And whenever they're on sale, I'll pick them up because they're just super easy meals and these are frozen as well. So the two frozen items we got, we also, um, well, Tim wanted to try these euro slices they're beef and lamb and these are refrigerated so he thought these would be good the, he loves the trader joe's ones i just showed the kebabs um from trader joe's the frozen so he wanted to try these from costco to kind of compare and see how they go but so he grabbed those and then of course we can't leave without getting the ultimate everything chopped salad kit our favorite and I think I got my last watermelons of the year. These are like the two minis and I just was like craving some fruit. So I thought these would be great to just say, say la vida summer and I mean summer's over, but there's still watermelons at Costco. So I grabbed those too. You know how to tell when summer really is over. You see all of this yummy white peppermint covered pretzels. Those are so good. I love those. Also, look at the new Welch's Sparkling. They came in a really pretty package this year. Love those. This organic winter blend from Starbucks looks amazing, but I'm not daring spending that price without it being on sale first. Then they have the dog advent calendar. Oh my gosh, I was so tempted to buy this, but... It's pretty pricey for what you get in here, um, but still cute nonetheless. Now to some pumpkins. Let's get into some fall stuff. So they have these two, the two pack of these pumpkins, which are so cute. And for me, when I pumpkin shop, I need a good stem. That's what I'm looking for when I'm going pumpkin shopping. So I need stems that are, you know, they look, they have character, they're cute. And I got a pack that has like two different size pumpkins. You can get the, I mean, there were a lot that were almost exactly the same size and really big. I liked that there were two different sizes because if you put them next to each other, again, it's the character thing. I just like, it's visually appealing to see two different sizes with these really cool stems and they're just cute to de decorate. And this is the company uh, Danny's Pie Pumpkin. So you can make pumpkin pie with these, but I'm gonna use them to decorate. And then the Costco Massive Pumpkins are back too. So I had to grab one of those. And of course I got one with a really nice stem on it. So 
that is the pumpkin stuff. Now, we also had to grab this wine because it reminded us, again, of a Halloween wine. So this one is called Chronic Cellars. It's a Cab Sauve, and it is um, from Paso Robles, Surreal. Oh, how cute, Surreal. And it has this like awesome looking skeleton, almost like a mummy skeleton. And he's wearing armor. And then the back is really cute too. This got 93 points. So it's gonna be a great wine, I think. And it has a really cool label. So it's a win-win for us. So we grabbed that. Now to something I've seen online and I could not wait to pick up. This is the eight soup bowl sandwich plate set. This is so perfect for the fall and winter. It basically has a plate. It comes with a little bowl that you set inside and then it has a spot for your grilled cheese. So we have soup and grilled cheese quite often when it cools down. It's such a fun family meal and it's so easy and simple. So these are the perfect set and it comes with eight, eight piece sets. So I think it's actually four. So you're gonna get four of these and four of the bowls total because it's eight pieces all together. So if that makes sense, if you have a family of four, it'll work out. If you have anything bigger, you'll probably have to buy two sets, but such a nice idea. And it's a really cute gift idea too. If you have friends or family that love soup and sandwiches, pick it up now. There were a couple other things that caught my eye, like this beautiful Mikasa bowl. I think it's perfect for serving a salad. Now, if you're in the market for a new roasting pan for Thanksgiving, they had this one that I felt like was pretty good price. And then we have the double walled Bodum glasses. We bought these before that are just the regular tall and short glasses, but I'm going to wait for these to go on sale before I pick up the mugs. Now to the last thing we grabbed, which is down here because it's too big to put up there. So it's the raised garden with grow grid. So we have a, the same brand of this in our backyard currently, but it's like a raised bed that's, I don't know, U-shaped, it's really cool. This one are, these are two like shallow ones that go low and they have dividers so you can plant your plants and like keep them in their own containment, which, in theory is great, but does it really work? I don't think so. Plants do what they want. Um, so yeah, these are so fun and they were on super sale. So Tim and I decided to grab them. We're gonna put them in our backyard and do some more gardening because we love to garden and grow our own fruits and veggies. So that is this. And if you see it at your Costco, pick it up now because this is the most incredible price. And as excited as I was about that gingerbread liqueur, Tim was like that about this. So grab it while it's here. That is it. I am so, so, so excited to start setting some of this stuff up for the holiday season. Not yet. Don't worry. We're still focusing on pumpkin season, but when it does come time, I can't wait to set these snowmen up and this cute little light up tree. Well, I hope this video did not disappoint. As you can tell, I couldn't contain my excitement about that little glitter globe. I love that thing. Um, and I can't wait to set up the snowman in our front yard when the time comes, but we are still totally full on Halloween here. So yeah, I'm, I'm not jumping ahead. I just had to get this stuff ahead because y'all know if you don't get it, it will be gone. Let me know how you guys like the shop with me kind of in addition to the haul. I just wanted to add that to show you guys some of the things that maybe you would be interested in that Tim and I, we can't pick up the whole Costco stuff, but um, I think it's fun to kind of integrate that in. So if you like that, let me know in the comments below and I can start doing more videos like that. Unfortunately, I can't do that for Trader Joe's because I work there and they don't let me film in the store. So um, having said that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.